my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to another day in the life in Egypt. Internet. Since I'm out in Dahab, Egypt, out in kind of middle of nowhere, the internet situation is a little bit more difficult, I think. I'm gonna go into town and look for Vodafone because this one has fast internet, but it's limited. So I don't wanna have to keep running out. But welcome to today. Come along with me. I don't know what we're doing. Today I want to take you on a point of view. I mean, I guess I always take you on a point of view, but a bit more literally. I got a GoPro 9, I really love it. So let me know in the comments below if you prefer this type of content and maybe I'll add some more in. But I really just wanted to kind of let you experience what I experienced. It's, it's true, actually, you can put on the hat. I'm still figuring out a good way to hold the GoPro naturally while doing things, so if the footage isn't perfect, I apologize, but we will get there. I can turn that screen off, but it's like, really, usually I guess this would be more for like, riding. Like. Oh, so this is where I got the, the necklace. This one's right there. Sort of like this is the supermarket. This is the small town of Dahab, Egypt. It's very, very windy here all the time, so I'm sorry for any wind noise, but this is the closest that I can bring you to coming along and walking the streets during the day. So the town is basically one road and you, walk, you can walk straight through it all. It is also by the ocean, so most of the restaurants are oceanside restaurants. Yeah, so it's right here. Due to COVID and also that this isn't the prime tourist season, it was rather empty, but I bet it gets a lot more busy. Dahab is a diving town, so if you're into any type of water sports and diving, free diving, snorkeling, anything like that, Dahab is definitely for you. The one by the water or the one yeah. Yeah. Oh, We went to the one that was like on, we went in the sand and the other one that we ate the food. I had to get some footage quick from a friend and then I headed to meet up with Layla again for lunch. This is our favorite spot to go to get lemon mint drinks beside the water. Kind of scary. I'm just gonna close that a little bit. The food here is also very, very good. I got a veggie burger and it was delicious. Very, very yummy. I think the cat thought so too. I never introduced you. <laughs> I've been on this adventure with my very good friend Layla. She has been amazing to travel with. We then stopped in a shop called Why Not, and it's so cool and aesthetic. It reminds me of like Waterworld vibes, the movie. But anyways, the owner made us matching necklaces for free and gave us some sunflower seeds. He was very, very nice. Amazing store. I highly recommend 
going there if you're ever in to have. <gasps> Look, a magic lamp. Think there's a genie in there? Maybe. <laughs> So I got my Vodafone SIM card with the most data that I could possibly get and then we headed back home. Moving on to the next day point of view, today I'm just going to go beside the water that's close to us. I'm going to bike there and just meditate and sit by the water. Aside from diving and all that in Dahab, it's a very, very chill, relaxed town and I find it very calming, a very calming place to be. So it's very good for meditation and trying to center yourself. But it's very, very hot and some of the roads are very, very bumpy. <laughs> In a lot of places I've experienced people that offer to do things for you do expect to get paid. So do things yourself. Nothing is free, even if they say that it is. I'm just gonna sit by the water. You wanna sit there? Yeah, I'm just gonna sit. Yeah, okay. You uh, buy. What? This. Yeah. Here. Should I put it there? Yeah. I should. Okay, go, go, go. I go. Hmm? Me. No, it's okay. I do it. Yeah. Thank you. This is over a span of different days, but I wanted to give you a quick perspective before I left. Thank you so much for watching all of this. Um, I just got back from town and I just was shopping for a while. I was kind of having a bad day today. Um, I was like sitting there with like tears in my eyes. I'm just like, I'm too overwhelmed. I don't really know how to explain it, but I'll have these moments and I'm like, I can't go to the city. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm like, just do it, just do it. So I biked into the city. Went and got a mango juice drink by myself. It's kind of sat by the water. I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know how to plug anything in here. I need Wi-Fi to release my YouTube video. And I don't know, it. and I'm just sitting here all by myself. And I walked for so long to get here. I'm <laughs> just feeling sorry for myself. I get overwhelmed like this often, and I want to present that. Um, obviously, I'm not going to film it at the time it's happening because I'm already overwhelmed. But um, so I just kept going, had my moment. Um, it's definitely very, very sweaty and very dirty <laughs> from walking around the city. And I just let myself, I'm just like, breathe through. That's the door. Um, but yeah, so here I am now. And I'm sweaty and hot, but I feel like I pushed through it. Um, a lot of times, the, at those times, it's very difficult to push through. And it's not something that you always should push through. Beautiful. It's beautiful out. Having social problems as kind of a slow lo solo sl slash loner type of traveler. I am here with my friend, but you know we don't um, we stay independent. And um, I, there are times when I really and I'm alone a lot all the time, and that's fine. But there are a lot of things inside that come with it that it's hard for me to explain or describe. It could come across on my YouTube that I'm really outgoing, that everything's easy, that I'm brave, that I'm bold, but it's just not the case. Um, in person, I'm very, very, very timid. 
And I was thinking, let me go, that, know what you guys think about labeling myself a timid traveler. Because I feel like people that are on YouTube that are big and stuff, and I was looking with Layla today at YouTubers that really do a lot of cool, cool adventures and they're always out there. And you have to be able to socialize with people, especially people of different cultures, to make content like that. And it makes me feel a bit, I guess, insecure and overwhelmed and afraid that I'm not like that. And I try so hard and I'm always trying to my max. But I get so overwhelmed and it takes everything for me just to get to a place. And then it takes everything for me just to you know, get around for the day and do at least you know, one activity. So my life is not like the other travel influencers where they seem to be able to naturally Nobody does everything naturally, but so today I was feeling so low. First time since I've been here, um, just for a moment because my plans were derailed and I don't know how to deal with that a lot. Still, it completely, sh like, just, it's crazy how it doesn't get easier. And I think having uh, social difficulties or having autism it does affect me a lot while traveling. I've chosen this life and it is hard, but to my fellow autistics out there and to my fellow people that are loners or introverts, I got you. We're out here together. I just want to do everything right. And I feel like there are so many details in social situations where I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Like for example, like going into town on the bike. Um, that's super hard for me. Like that's, that takes the courage and the bravery. And I'm like, once I got to town, I'm like freaking out in my head. I'm like, oh my God, I, I, where do I park my bike? Where do people park their bikes? Blah, 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 blah. And it's a little stuff like this 24 seven. Cause I wander around looking awkward as fuck, even though I'm trying really hard not to look awkward. But really, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And people just stare at me. So if I do get embarrassed, everyone's gonna see it. So that's just behind the scenes of my little pathetic life. But doing stuff like this, yeah, it takes bravery. It takes guts and it, it's scary and it's not natural. And I'm not one of those travel YouTubers. But I digress. Um, I was petting a lot of dogs today. You see in this clip right here. I hope you're all good out there. Thank you for watching my content. And thank you for being here. I love you very much. Stay extra terrestrial.